Alright, so we got some very interesting news regarding AMD's upcoming Navi graphics cards. I'm gonna talk about it in this video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Robin here. Now, if you're not fully up to date with what AMD is up to here, allow me to explain super quickly. So AMD is dropping a whole new lineup of graphics cards very soon. And while AMD recently dropped the RX 590 and even the Radeon 7, if you remember that, those cards were based on older architectures. Now, AMD is planning on launching a whole new architecture Architecture, more specifically 7 nanometer. This is the same type of graphics that is going to sit inside PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2. And yeah, this graphics is coming to PC as well. Something we need to clarify here. Yes, Radeon 7 is indeed based on 7 nanometer, but this graphics card is made on the older Vega node, which is a die shrunk Vega 10 GPU, and it's basically a rebranded instinct card that first and foremost are meant for computers centers and not particularly gaming even though it's clearly possible to game on Radeon 7. This card is also very expensive so not that many can afford it unfortunately. Nav is exciting for many reasons it will tell us if what AMD has been working on for such a long time was worth the wait. It will reveal if AMD can compete with Nvidia even in the upper range that's what I'm hoping. Nav is rumored to be very power efficient offer awesome performance while still being quite cheap. It will also reveal how powerful next generation consoles might be. Remember Navi was built for next gen consoles first and foremost so I don't think we should expect AMD to beat Nvidia's RTX 2080 Ti for example. And my guess is that AMD is going for the entry, mid range and upper mid range with Navi if they can get the pricing right. This card can be very attractive for any gamer looking for a cheap graphics cards with plenty of power. This is where Navi is is expected to deliver. Anyway, let's get into the leaks. Alright, so these pictures was recently leaked on a Chinese forum known as Baidu, who since then has been taken down, but then were shared by a guy on Twitter. I should say guys, I was very confused at first when I saw these pictures, as I didn't quite understand what I was looking at. But yeah, what we're looking at is a printed circuit board shot of what we believe is a Navi based graphics card. Now, if we take a closer look around the big, big socket that is going to house the graphics chip we can count eight memory spots here see one two three four five six seven and eight now if we look very closely we can even count the number of solder points as well which turns out to be yeah 180 for each memory chip and this matches the specs for gddr6 and completely eliminates any possibility of gddr5 which only has 170 solder points now obviously i had no idea about this information but after studying this a bit it turns out that each memory chip have a 32-bit wide bus and we counted a total of eight memory chips on the PCB that tells us that we got a 256 memory bus in comparison that is what Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 and 2080 has so most likely we're looking at a very high-end card here. A couple of things here we need to address this is the first time ever we've seen this type of memory from a AMD. And yeah, we do also find plenty of power here. Taking a look at the top right side of the card, we find dual 8 pin connectors, and on top of that, 10 faces. We also find attachment points for video connections, including HDMI, dual display port, as well as USB Type C. Now, dual 8 pins seems quite extreme, and it's not very likely that manufacturers will utilize that much power. So, it's not like this is evidence that we are looking at a thirsty card per se but it shows that dual 8 pin seems to be an option for these new cards yeah i almost forgot build Zoid was analyzing the card a bit and was raising a bit of concern regarding the three holes on the right side these holes can also be found on the rx vega 64 and the vega 56 and are used to attach the radial fan used on the reference cards now we all know how cooling and noise generally is on these type of coolers yeah usually not very pleasant and coolers. These type of blowers are usually very noisy and tend to get very hot as well so this is a bit concerning but hopefully this is just an 
early PCB sample. Now what we know from Navi already is that they are gonna be compatible with ray tracing and they should be powerful enough for 4K at high refresh rate as well. That is at least what Sony have told us so far. Things are looking very bright to say the least. Now when can we expect to see a reveal here and when is this card coming out? Well we don't have a release date yet but Computex is coming up very soon and AMD have told us that they are going to show Navi at this event. Now I have covered Navi quite a few times before. I'll link up a few videos down below if you want to get up to date here. I also made a video covering everything you need to know about the Xbox 2, revealing possible release date, pricing and everything that you need to know basically. Obviously I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say about this. I'm gonna test these cards and I'm going to keep you guys up to date with what's going on as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be back with the brand new video in just a day or two. Until then, have an awesome day, right?